get out of this wood. I've sent them all. Did you happen to meet any soldiers, my dear, as you came through the wood? Yes, Your Majesty, I did. Several thousand, I should think. Four thousand, two hundred and seven. That's the exact number. See? I've made a memorandum of it. Couldn't send all the horses, you know, because two of them are wanted in the game. And the two messengers have gone to town. Just look down the road. Can you see them? I've seen nobody on the road. I only wish I had such eyes. To be able to see nobody. And at that distance, too. Why? It's as much as I can do to see real people by this light. I see somebody now. But he's coming very slowly. And what curious attitudes he goes into. Skipping up and down and wriggling like an eel. With his great hands spread out like fans on each side. Not at all. He's an Anglo-Saxon messenger, and those are Anglo-Saxon attitudes. He only does them when he's happy. His name is Aeon. I love my love with an H because he is happy. I hate him with an H because he is hideous. I feed him with... with ham, sandwiches, and hay. His name is Hale, and he lives... He lives on the hill. The other messengers called Hatta. I must have two, you know. To come and go. One to come, one to go. I beg your pardon? It isn't respectable to beg. Oh, I only meant that I didn't understand. Why one to come and one to go? Don't I tell you? I must have two. To fetch and carry. One to fetch and one to carry. This young lady loves you with an H. Stop rolling your eyes from side to side. Stop panting like that. You are alarming me. I feel quite faint. Give me a ham sandwich. How funny. Another sandwich. <laughs> Nothing but hay left now. There's nothing like eating hay when you're faint. <laughs> I should think throwing cold water over you would be better. Or some sal volatile. I didn't say there was nothing better. I said there was nothing like it. Who did you pass on the road? Nobody. Quite right. This young lady saw him too.